Hey everybody, so I'm going to show you how you can use AdaStax to get just the month, the abbreviated month, or just the year of a specific date in Adalo. Um, and you can do this using AdaStax. Um, you will need a pro version or a paid version of Adalo in order to do this because we'll be using the custom actions feature. Um, and then you will also need an AdaStax account um, to do this, but you can do, sign up for one of those for free at AdaStax.com. Um, so let's just say that I have users who sign up and I ask for maybe their birthday here in this form. Um, let me uh, go ahead and put in a birthday field there where they can then choose you know, what their birthday is. But let's say that on my, maybe a profile screen or something, I don't want to show their birthday. Maybe I want to show how old they are, right? Um, and this is actually kind of difficult to do, kind of difficult to calculate. Um, but one of the things that we can do here is um, we can actually create a custom action that can pull in that data for us, all right? Um, so let's go ahead and do that now. Let me just go ahead and add a button to this uh, field here. Um, and then I'm actually going to add three pieces of text here. And um, what I'm going to do is this is actually going to be the logged in user's uh, year, um, birth, or age. Let's do age instead. Um, and we will make, well, I'll just do an alt click drag to do a copy of that. We'll do their birth month. And let's just go ahead and do like a birth month abbreviated as well. So I'll do another birth month abbreviated. And these are just pl placeholders for the time being, but I'm actually going to create these uh, fields in here in their user record as well. So um, I'm just going to create a number property here called birth year. All right, and um, so we've got that. Uh, let's go ahead and create another property here for birth month. And again, you can do this for lots of different things, right? If you want to, are wanting to sort records by, you know, what month they were created in or whatever. Um, let's create another one for birth month. Abbreviated. All right, and um, so now what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and create this custom action here. And in this custom action, let's go, and go ahead and create a new one. Um, let's just call this get date info. Info, all right, and we'll select the create. We'll go to next, and I'm going to go to the AdaStax documentation or help guide for this particular uh, endpoint here. Um, and this is the, the URL here, so I'll just copy this. I'll paste this in here. Um, I'll, rep I'll create, again, an input here for my API key, my AdaStax API key. All right, and let me go to my AdaStax dashboard, and I will just copy this. Paste it right here. Done. Then I will put in another text field for date. And there is a sample value here in the guide that you can use so that you don't have to try and figure out what the formatting is. So we'll just uh, copy this. Paste that right in there. Uh, the method here is a get. And the next thing that we need to do is just replace these with these new inputs that we made. So I'll replace the capitalized text with just my API key. And again, replace the capitalized text for date with date, right? I'll go ahead and click Run Request. And it you'll see that it returns the full month, so December, the abbreviated month of just December, and then just the year here, all right? Um, so we'll go ahead and save that custom action. And again, I will just paste in my AdaStax API key here into this action. And I have to do Control V here. <laughs> there we go. And the date here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set the set this as the logged in user's 
uh, birthday, which is what they set here in this field. And this is very important. I'm going to make sure that instead of saying relative, I'm going to put no formatting here in this text field. All right, as the, the date format. All right, so I'll click done here. And then what I'm going to do is for this age, I'm actually going to do a custom formula here. And I'm actually going to take the logged in user's um, birth year, and this is going to be uh, a little bit strange, uh, or I'm actually going to take the current year, so 2021, uh, or actually let's do a custom formula, sorry, do a new formula. We will do uh, 2021. And then we will subtract the birth year. Subtract the birth year. All right. And this one here will just be the birth month. Logged in users birth month. And this will be the logged in users birth month abbreviated. All right. Um, the other thing that I almost forgot about is that we don't want to just perform the custom action. We want to then update the user with the information that's returned. So if you go here, we're going to add another action to update the logged in user. And then in each of these fields, what we will do is we will say the birth year is the result of this, right? The get date info, that's the year. Um, the birth month is going to be the get info uh, the full month, and then obviously the abbreviated is just the get date info abbreviated month, right? Okay, so let's give this a quick test. I'm going to sign up just as a new user here. Um, let's do Johnny at test.com. Johnny test. Um, and then let's just say that I was born March 13th, but I was born. Uh, just 11 years ago, right? So we'll go ahead and hit sign up here. Oops. Direct this to the sign up screen. Link this to home. All right. So let me just preview this one more time. There we go. Okay. So it's giving me the, um, let me just go ahead and click this right here. So you can see that when I hit the custom action, and again, how you this isn't really the way that you would set this up in an actual workflow, um, but the action, that's how the action would work, right? So I'm 11 years old, I was born in March, and this is the abbreviated month of that, uh, of that my birth month, right? So there's a lot of different applications for this. You can kind of go wild and use your imagination how you might use, get this information uh, for specific dates, all right? Hope that was helpful for you.